Chapter One: A Missing Coin. I glance at the clock. It was three fifty-one. Two minutes have passed since the last time I looked. Lucy Hiller was now twenty-one minutes late. Some days time flies. Other days it crawls by like a sick cockroach. Today was one of those days. Heesh. I was in my new office in a corner of my basement. My regular office, a tree house in the backyard, was shut down for the season. Too much ice and snow. Fortunately, my parents let me stop shut down here. It wasn't heaven, but I suppose it was all right. I had my own desk. On the wall behind the desk, a sign read, "Jigsaw Jones, Private Eye." I made it myself. I sipped on my second glass of grape juice and waited. It was now exactly 3:52. In the Jones house, you don't need a doorbell. Our dog, a big Newfoundland named Rex, tells when someone is at the door. When he barked, I knew that Lucy Hiller had arrived. Seattle, uh, I'm in Jigsaw. Your visitor is here. My mom called. A soft voice said, "Thank you, Mrs. Jones." I watched as a pair of bright red boots came down the stairs. The boots were attached to. The boots were attached to Lucy Hiller. Lucy sat in a chair across from my desk. Her hair was curly and black. Her eyes were round and brown. Grape juice, I offered. Lucy politely shook her head. No thanks. She showed me her straight white teeth. Then her smile disappeared. I've been told that you are the best detective in second grade. I didn't disagree. Lucy chewed her lip. I've got a problem, she said. I make problems go away," I said. "But it will cost you. I get a dollar a day." Lucy placed some money on the desk. My jaw dropped. It showed a picture of Abraham Lincoln. That's a five-dollar bill," I said. "If you can, if you can get me out of this mess," Lucy said, "it will be worth it." I opened my detective journal to a clean page. I missed my partner Mala, but she had a music lesson. I have to stir without her. I'm all ears," I said. Lucy talked fast. Le- okay, last Friday I-, I borrowed a coin from my father's coin collection. It was an Indian hand nickel, and it was very valuable. I wanted to bring it to school and show everybody. And show everybody. Let me guess," I interrupted. "It's missing." Lucy nodded unhappily. I started to hand her a box of Kleenex, but her eyes were clear. Lucy Hiller wasn't a crying type. She continued, "Okay, so I showed the coin to Big Maloney during recess. He was building the snowman office, the tree, the huge one by the basketball courts. Well, Big really loved it. He thought the coin was the coolest thing, so I let him hold it for the rest of the day." Lucy paused. No big sets. He can find it. I was stunned. Why, of all people, did you give the coin to Big Maloney? Mrs. Chicks flushed red. I don't know. She said, looking down. I thought for a moment. A question hung in the air. I finally asked it. Do you think Big is telling the truth? Lucy lifted her head and looked at me. Now her eyes seemed glassy and wet. Lucy Hiller would need the cleanest after all. After she left, I took out my markers. I wrote in my detective journal suspects. I underlined it in purple. Then I wrote the name Biggs Maloney, and I knew this case meant trouble. Biggs trouble. Good night.